Manchester United used to be the biggest team in world football, even winning the treble. But since then, things haven't been the same. And last season, they only finished in 8th place. So I'm going to spend the next 10 years as a Man United player and see if I can help this squad full of flops become the greatest team in the world once again. And yes, I have done it. I have joined and signed a contract with Manchester United. And now that I've joined Man United, there's only one way to take Man United back to the top and I have to go ahead and complete every single one of these goals. And the first objective here at Man United is to go ahead and help them qualify for the UCL once again because these bums finished in 8th place and got grouped in the UCL last year. And my goal was to get them there, but it wasn't going to be easy because I'm only 63 overall. There is no chance I'm starting in this team as we have a bunch of good strikers around me, including the new signing, Joshua Xerxy. And quickly I realized I was not going to start at my United, so I spent almost the entire season just training and training and sitting on the bench observing my teammates when I even went up all the way to a 70 overall, but I was still yet to make my debut. And it was very frustrating, man. 90 minute after 90 minute, just sitting on the bench, just waiting for my opportunity until it arrived. In the final day of the season, Xerxes was suspended for a challenge he had in the previous game, meaning Hoyland will be the starting striker and I'll be sitting on the bench, hopefully waiting to come in on the last day where my United are fighting for fourth place with Arsenal, who will be facing in the last day. And as the final day battle was about to kick off, I was thinking of what I could possibly do if I made an appearance. Man, this might be my moment. With Xerxes suspended, if Hoyland can't finish in this game, I will come on. I need to make sure I deliver no matter how long I'm on. If I can impress Ten Hag, I can become a starter and help get my United back to the top. Hey Edgar, this is your chance. You're a lot like me. I trained so hard for years in the youth academy and waited for my moment. I got it and so can you. Hoyland hasn't had the best season, so be ready to step in. We need a striker today. Us Man United graduates must stick together. We can't flop like Rashford. Thanks. Let's do this. And as I watch from the bench, the game kicks off. It's Declan Rice. Here comes Arsenal with the first attack of the game. King Kai Havertz into Leonardo Trussard. The worst player in the Arsenal lineup has scored to make it 1-0. It's not looking good so far for Man United because we need to win this game if we want to qualify for the UCL. But now in the second half, here come Man United with an attack of their own after a boring first half. It's Mason Mount through ball into Kobe Mainu. 1v1 against the keeper. He has a shot and it goes in. Rasmus Hoyland has been a ghost so far in this game that our CDM has to be scoring the goals. But as long as I'm not in the pitch, I have to cheer him on. And here come Man United once again. It's Kobe Mainu dominating that midfield. A brilliant through ball into Rasmus Hoyland. 1v1 against the keeper with a shot and he misses. That's some prime Lukaku stuff right there. Come on, Hoyland. And now it's David Wright on the ball. Tries to clear it out to start a counter-attack. And it's won by our defender. And now it's Rasmus Hoyland. He's all alone. Has a shot. Why would you even attempt from there? You're delusional, Hoyland. Put me on, coach. And now it's Ben White trying to clear this ball from the back. But it's won by Kobe Minor once again. Playmaking like crazy. And now it's Rasmus Hoyland. Has another shot from White at the box. And this guy has a pea shooter of a shot. Come on, Hoyland. And as Hoyland misses his third shot of the game, Ten Hag has some words for me. Edgar, get ready. You're coming on. Now that I'm coming on, as time ticked down, I was just, I was just waiting for the ball to go out of play. And as soon as the ball goes out, I am coming up. But here comes Rasmus Hoyland. Can he score? And he gets fouled in the penalty box. Odegaard gives him a foul. And he gets yellow. Am I gonna come on? Am I gonna get the opportunity to take this penalty? <gasps> a penalty? What? If, what if I come on for the penalty? I could prove to Ten Hag that I should start. Edgar, sit back down. I don't need you anymore. Yes, boss. And Ten Hag told me to sit back down. I hope that he made the right decision. I hope that Rasmus Hoyland can go ahead and score this penalty. He shoots it and it hits the crossbar and it goes out. They clear it out. I should have come on. I should have taken the penalty. I promised I would have scored. And now here come Arsenal straight from the counterattack in the 90th minute. Looking to qualify for the UCL. Here is Bukayo Saka. He's looking to cross it in and he shoots it and Trussard scores again. The shake pack from Arsenal of all people score. And my United, we lose 2-1. I still have not made my debut and I've been at the club for an entire season. If I want to take them back to the top, I need to be playing games. And the game comes to an end. Arsenal qualified for the UCL. I just know it would be different if I had played. And season number two kicks off and Rasmus Hoyland was shipped out of the club. It seems like he really messed up. And now that I've become the second striker due to Hoyland selling, it was still the same thing. I spent hours and hours of training, but it was still hours of hours sitting on the bench. Even though I went up all the way to a 75 overall, Xerxes was still higher rated and preferred over me. But it was now time for the final game of the Europa League group stage and somehow these bums are in third place 
in threat of going to the conference league and i'm sitting on the bench once again as we're kicking off this game against sporting maybe i can save my united from embarrassment and the game kicks off as Coates is trying to clear the ball but kobe might not win it he is really doing amazing in a my united shirt he has a shot but it's a great save from adan and here come my united on another attack rashford wins the header and it's given into aaron wambasaka who crosses it into garnacho who lays it back up into aaron wambasaka has a shot but it lands on xerxes with a shot and that should have been the goal Xerxes, you need to be scoring that man. And now it's Alejandro Garnacho looking to make it 1-0. Can they finally score a goal? They give it back into Kobe Mainu with a shot and he just misses. How is Kobe Mainu the best attacking player in the team? And now here comes Sporting with the first opportunity of the game. It's trying to see Scotia and Cal. The Barcelona flop crosses it into Pedro Goncalves with a shot and it goes in. Goncalves makes it 1-0. We're losing to a B-Tech version of Cristiano Ronaldo and his old team. Come on, Eric Ten Hag, you have to put me in. And all my United need is a draw. So can Joshua Zerxi score in the 90th minute? But he gets fouled and he's going to be injured. Surely I have to come on. But the question is, am I going to take the penalty or is someone more trusted? But regardless, I'm coming on for my debut. I can save my United season. If I can score this penalty, I can send them through. Then we can win the Europa League and we can qualify for the UCL. And yes, I am taking the penalty. I can save my United season and I put it away on my first game, my first kick as a professional footballer. And as a my United player, I have equalized the game, sending them to the next round of the Europa League. In reality, I shouldn't be celebrating that, but I have done it. Roberto Baggio, you should have done this. You should have kept it cool. And the game comes to an end. I'm a my United hero on my debut. They could have gone down to the conference, but I couldn't allow them. I hope Xerxes is okay, but if he is out for a long time, I know I can step in and become a top striker and my united and help them qualify for the ucl and become a starter i did as jersey was out for the rest of the season and i came on and i started to score goal after goal acting like i've been playing for years and now we were at the end of the season and my united once again this time we're in fourth place but fighting for champions league football against liverpool who i will be facing on the final day all i need is a win or a draw but even if i fell tonight we are also in the Europa League final against Sevilla. So regardless, there's no way I felt to help Man United qualify for the UCL. And Liverpool have a corner. They cross it in and it's crossing into Cody Gagbo with a header and it goes in. Liverpool will take the lead if the score stays like this. Liverpool are getting UCL and we're not. And now it's Luis Diaz looking to start an attack. And it's Luis Diaz. Oh, that's a disgusting pass. It's a through ball into Ivan Robinson. He's looking for the cross. He crosses it into Cody Gagbo once again and it goes in. Gagbo gets a brace and I've been a ghost all game. I'm looking like Bruno Fernandes, but Liverpool have a 2-0 lead. And now in the second half, it's Rashford into Kobe Mainu. Back into Rashford, back into Kobe Mainu. He sees me, I'm making a perfect run. It's a through ball to me. I go ahead and have a shot and it goes in. Ice cold. I need to stand my United to the UCO. That is the first objective. I pick up the ball because there's no time to waste. And now it's Mason Mount on the ball. Gives it to Scott McTominay, the captain. Through ball to me, 1v1. I am not going to miss from this position. And of course, I'm not ice cold. I wear the number seven for a reason. I'm just like Ronaldo. I make it 2-2. One more goal. Even if the score stay like this, we'll qualify for the UCL. And now it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, but he's shit at defending. So I get the ball away and I get fouled in the penalty. Van Dijk had to save Trent Alexander-Arnold just like always. And it's going to be a penalty. I better be taking it. Hey, Mainu, you take it. You motivated me to be patient. You deserve this moment. Send us to the UCL. I've given my penalty to Kobe Mino because he has motivated me so much. He go ahead and takes it and he scores it. He deserves this moment. He deserves to be the hero for my United today. He scores in the 90th minute. Liverpool are always choking leads. We're going to the UCL. And the ref blows the whistle and it is confirmed. Liverpool are playing Europa League football and we're playing UCL football. We have completed the first task. I wonder what's the next one. And the next challenge is interesting. It's to win silverware with Man United. We're in the Europa League final next, so we can technically already do it. I just wonder if we can beat Sevilla because they're very well known for winning lots of Europa Leagues. And it was now time for the Europa League final against Sevilla. And Megan will also win my first ever European trophy. It's Kobe Mainu with the first attack of the game. He gives it to me. I see the space. I'm going to go ahead and have a shot. And it goes in. It's a shitty shot, but it's shitty goalkeeping from the keeper. I make it 1-0. I'm going to win the Europa League. And here comes Sevilla trying to start a counter attack. But Kobe Mainu gets another brilliant tackle. He gives it to me. I have a shot. And it goes in. 2-0. Me and Kobe Mainu are kind of starting to become a duo, even though he's a CDM. We go 2-0 up. We cannot blow this lead like usual. Man United style. And no, after my celebration, I picked up an injury. I don't know if it was during the shot or after, but I cannot go any longer. Xerxes comes in for me. I just hope that my United could go ahead and finish the job. And here comes Sevilla straight away, looking to take advantage of me getting injured. It's Luis Campos on the ball. Campos gives it into Anna City and it goes in. 
the equalizer, they make it 2-1. Please, Man United, please don't choke this lead. And now it's Lenny Yoro trying to clear the ball, but he slips. And now here he comes with a shot, and it's blocked. And now here comes Sevilla still. They have the ball. They give it into Onisiri once again. He gets rid of one. He gets rid of a second as a shot, and it goes in. Onisiri makes it 2-2. Please, Man United, please don't choke like usual. Please, just win this Europa League final. And now it's Sevilla once again on a third attack in the 90th minute. It's, it's Suso on the ball, gives it into Ocampos with a shot, and it goes in. Onana goes back to his usual fraud self. Ocampos scores in the 90th minute, and Sevilla are going to win another Europa League. I just know if I didn't get injured, this wouldn't have happened. And the game comes to an end. Sevilla lift the Europa League trophy. I just know if I was in the game, I would have won the Europa League. But my third season as a Man United player is kicking off as in the first game of the season, I am playing Man City for the very first time as I'm still aiming to win Civil War. So maybe if we do good in this game, we can go ahead and win the Premier League if we beat the ex Premier League champions. And it's Alejandro Garnacho on the ball with a brilliant through ball into me. I go ahead and bring it down. I have a shot and it goes in. We go ahead and make it 1-0. Man City don't know who I am just yet, but they're gonna know by the end of this game. And now it's Alejandro Garnacho with a cross into me. I go ahead and chest it down. I give it to Kobe Mainu and it goes in. 2-0. We're definitely gonna win Civil War if me and Kobe Mainu are linking up exactly like this. We're like Messi and Suarez. And here I come down the wing. Once again, I destroy Rico Lewis looking for the third in the first half. And yes, we're destroying Man City 3-0 in the first half. There's no way they come back from this. And it seems like in the second half, they're bringing on Oscar Bob. Who the fuck is that guy? I don't even know who he is. How are they going to come back if Bob is playing for Man City? And now it's Erling Haaland on the ball. Gives it to Phil Foden with the first attack of the game. Oscar Bob with a shot. Well, okay. I, I think he got lucky. Whoever this kid is, he just scored a goal. I'm pretty sure it's just all luck. And now Zlenny Euro loses the ball to Bob. No way you're letting a guy named Bob take away the ball from you. But it's still Oscar Bob looking to make it 3-2. He crosses it into Haaland and it goes in. Maybe this Oscar Bob kid isn't too bad. But come on. His name is literally Bob, man. And now it's Oscar Bob once again. He's looking to make it 3-3. He cuts inside. He gives it to Haaland once again. And it's a 3-3 draw. Maybe I was wrong. I shouldn't have talked shit. But now we have an issue. Man City are looking to win this game. But here comes City in the 90th minute. We haven't done anything since the first half. It's crossing into Oscar Bob. He takes a touch. He gets a shot and it goes in. 4-3 in the 90th minute. He has made himself a Man City legend on one of his probably his first games ever. He scores two goals and assists too. I should have stayed humble, man. And the game comes to an end. Oscar Bob with two goals and two assists. Wow. We're not going to be winning silverware if we're blowing leads like this. But despite that embarrassing loss, our form did not dip as I continue to score goal after goal. And I even reached the Carabao Cup final against Man City, where Oscar Bob has now become a starter. And he's been very dangerous. But I'm not going to let him stop me from winning the silverware that I need for the objective, but also my first trophy as a pro footballer. And I have the first attack of the game. I have the ball. I'm looking to cut it. Said I do. I have a finesse shot and it goes in top corner. I am in the form of my life and it's only my first season as a starter. I'm winning my United that trophy and I'm going taking my United back to the top. But here comes Erling Haaland looking to spoil my dream. He gives it to Oscar Bob. He gets rid of all the defenders. He has a free space. He has a shot and it goes in. This man has gained all my respect. He's been dominating for Man City and he's starting in a stacked team. 1-1. But now it's Jeremy Doku in the ball. Gives it to Oscar Bob. Back into full body. Through ball into Jeremy Doku. Beautiful football for Man City as usual. Through ball into Oscar Bob. Takes a touch. Has a shot and it goes in. Bob once again is spoiling my dreams. He's spoiling my games. He makes it 2-1. But now in the second half, here comes Marcus Rashford through ball into me. Won't be one against the keeper. I have a shot and it goes in. I'm not letting Bob get away with it that easily. I want my first trophy. And now it's Man City once again. It's Oscar Bob into Erling Haaland. Haaland back into Oscar Bob in the 90th minute with a shot and it goes in. Once again, Oscar Bob becomes the hero. This man is something else, but come on. Where is my defense? Where is new 70 million signing Lenny Euro? What are they doing? Oscar Bob wins the Carabao Cup with a hat trick. And the game comes to an end and Man City lift the Carabao Cup, the opportunity to win the silverware, the objective that we needed. We fail once again. Man, I must win a trophy. And we reached the end of the season where we finished in second place, but we were in the FA Cup final. One last opportunity this season to win a trophy up against Man City. But this time, Oscar Bob was suspended in the final day of the season, which means he cannot play in another English competition. Can I go ahead and take advantage that Oscar Bob is not playing and win my first trophy and win silverware 
which is what we need. And here comes Magnetti with the first attack of the game. Makes him out into Diego Dalo. Looking for the space. He gives it into me with the header. And it goes in. We make it 1-0. No Oscar Bob. No problem for us so far. And here I go on the attack once again. Looking to make it 2-0 here. I still have the ball. Through ball into Kobe Mainu. My best friend with a shot. And it goes in. Kobe Mainu. That's why he's my best friend. That's why he's my best teammate. He makes it 2-0. We're going to win the FA Cup. And now it's Kobe Mainu once again. A through ball into me. We're going to go ahead and seal out this game. 1v1 against Ederson. I have a cross. And it gives it to Kobe Mainu and it goes in. Mainu gets a second. We make it 3-0. This game is over. And the ref blows away. So we embarrassed them just like my United embarrassed Southampton all those years ago. And we lift the FA Cup. Edgar is a great player, but if I was out there, he wouldn't have won. And to kick off season number four, we have completed the silverware by winning the FA Cup last season. And the new objective is to win the Premier League. My United haven't won the Premier League in over a decade. I need to go ahead and somehow be responsible for this and win my United, the Premier League. But season four went well as we continue to dominate again me scoring many goals. But now in the 36th game of the season, we were sitting in second place and we were facing Man City. But if Man City won against us, Man City would have won the league game two games early. But if we can somehow win this game, we still have a chance of winning the Premier League. This next game against City is do or die. And the game kicks off. It's a brilliant pass from Kobe Mainu into me. I take a turn. I go ahead and I have a shot near post and it goes in. What can I say? I'm dominated. I've really come into myself here at my United and becoming a world-class player. 1-0. And now here comes Foe Foden looking to keep the dreams alive. But I tackle him. Surely that's going to be yellow. I'm fine. And it's a red card. That is not a yellow card. That is barely a dangerous tackle. I'm sent off. If now that I'm sent off, maybe Man City are going to win the league. Please, I'm trusting my new and my teammates to do it. I cannot believe I got sent off. That was just a yellow. And now Roger wins the ball back for Mason Mount. He has a tackle pass into Oscar Bob with a shot. And of course, who else but Oscar Bob makes it 1-1. If they could go ahead and score another goal, they will be Premier League champions. And now it's Roger on the ball. Gives it into Julian Alvarez with a brilliant through ball into Oscar Bob. 1v1 to win it all for Man City. And it goes in. Oscar Bob ruins our title dreams. It's 2-1. Please, tell me there's enough time. And now it's Rico Lewis on the ball. Looking to waste time. Boris Garnacho into Marcus Rashford. Rashford into Kobe Mainun. Looking to put the king on the team on his back. Has a shot and it goes in. Kobe Mainun has equalized. He makes it 2-2. There's still a chance that we can win this Premier League. And Phil Foden wins the ball back. And now it's Rodri into Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob holds the ball. It's the ball. Through ball into Erling Haaland. Takes a touch. Has a shot. And it goes in. Haaland has won it surely. It's 3-2. My United are 10 men down. They're going to embarrass us and win the title two games early. And the ref blows the whistle. It is over. They win. They lift the Premier League title. This is more embarrassing than when England lost the Euro final twice in a row. If I know if I was on the pitch, it would have been different. Man, Edgar's been second place to Bob. I need to pick up his slack. And season number five kicks off and it's more of the same. Continued domination from me. Getting better and better. Now at an 87 overall. But this time we go all the way to the second last day of the season where City and us were tied in points and we're facing each other. Whoever wins this game will be three points ahead on the final day. But that doesn't secure the Premier League title as we're facing Chelsea on the final day and Man City are facing measly Southampton. So we need to win this game to make sure we stay ahead because Chelsea are a tough game. And here we go, my United on the attack, it's Kamak Tomine, into my new, into me with a shot, that's maybe offside, it's not, we celebrate, we make it 1-0, we need these three points to go ahead and get ready for Chelsea on the final day. And now Scott McTominay on the ball. He turns around. He loses the ball. And now it's Erling Haaland into Oscar Bob. Please don't score again, Bob. And yes, he does, of course. He's not going to miss. He slowly become possibly the best player in Manchester behind me. And it's 1-1 now. And now it's Oscar Bob looking to make another goal here. But Kobe Mainu follows him. And he gets a yellow card. And Oscar Bob is injured. He comes off. Surely with Oscar Bob out of this, I need to lock in and score a winner. All right, we took out Bob. Now Edgar has to win us the game. And now it's Marcus Rashford on the ball with a brilliant through ball into me. I'm 1v1 against Ederson. There is no way I've missed this. I've never missed a shot like this. I have a shot and it goes wide. Come on. I need to lock in. And now it's Alejandro Garnacho on the ball through ball into me. 1v1 against the keeper once again. I missed it last time. I am not going to miss this time. And it hits the post. How unlucky can I be? And the game comes to an end. It finishes 1-1. That means we're tied on points going to the last game of the season. But we're facing Chelsea. And they're facing Southampton. Oh, this is going to be tough. We need to make sure that Southampton don't lose to City. Man, Edgar isn't really as good as I thought he was. 
we could have taken advantage. Now we have to hope we beat Chelsea. But it was now time for the final day of the season. If we win this game and hopefully Southampton win or draw, we will be Premier League champions. We need that for the objectives to unlock the next one because I really want to take my United back to the top. But can we go ahead and beat Chelsea? And here comes Chelsea. Cole Palmer into shit guy Connor Gallagher. Gallagher with a through ball into Cole Palmer with a brilliant header and it goes in. He's just ice cold. 1-0 Chelsea take the lead. If the scores stay like this, we're probably not winning the Premier League title. And now it's Scott McSauce with a brilliant through ball into Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho cuts back and it's still Garnacho with a through ball to me. I go ahead and take a chest touch. I have a shot and it goes in. 1-1. One, one. We equalize this game. There's still a chance that we win this game. And it seems like Southampton just scored an equalizer against City. But here we're coming to the attack. If we can score this, we could possibly win the title. Kobe Mainu. And it goes in. In the 90th minute of the game, Southampton equalized on the Etihad. And we have scored a winner here at Old Trafford. If Man City don't score and we don't concede, we're going to be Premier League winners. And yes, the ref blows the whistle. We have won the Premier League. Southampton, my favorite team in real life, has helped us win the Premier League as we lift it. We win the Premier League. We achieved that achievement. I wonder what's next. What I've already taken helped my United go so far. And season number six kicks off as we find out our next objective is to win the UCL with my United. I don't even know when the last time my United won the UCL, but it's probably as long as Barcelona as well because they're both the shit clubs. But in the UCL, it was more dominance for me as we were now in the second leg of the run of 16 as in the first leg, we drew 1-1 to Man City. So we need to go ahead and beat Man City to go ahead and possibly go to the UCL final. Just please let us win this game. And the game kicks off against Kobe Mainu into Alejandro Garnacho with a through ball into me. I chest it down. I have a shot and it just goes wide. Horrible positioning from me. And now it's Mason Mao juggling, thinking he's Ronaldinho in the middle of the pitch. It's Kobe Mainu now. He cuts inside. He gives it into me. Through ball into me. I have a shot. And oh my god, I'm turning into Lukaku out here, man. And now it's Kobe Mainu once again with another brilliant pass. It's a shot. And it's a brilliant save from Ederson this time. But now it's Erling Haaland on the ball, making some time. He sees Oscar Brown making the run. And he's 1v1. Please, I need him to choke like Fernando Torres has a shot and it goes in he doesn't choke he keeps his cool he makes it what what is that celebration are you just you're just taking the piss now and now it's proponent on the ball giving it to oscar bob oscar bob with a finesse and it goes top corner 2-0 again with that celebration we're losing to city and we're gonna get knocked out and the ref blows the whistle and we just gave the world our barcelona impression as we get knocked out in the usual ucl as usual we're going home once again i do not beat oscar bob and City. And City go on to win the UCL and even in season number seven, we get knocked out by City once again and they win it once again as we lost to them in the quarterfinals. But in season number eight, we just got better and better and we were now in the UCL final. But of course, Oscar Bob and Man City were in our way. And as of right now, I have yet to beat in City with Oscar Bob in it. And I only have two years at my United. I said that in 10 years, I would take them back to the very top and we still have a couple challenges left. I have to win this game. I don't care that I've never beaten this guy. I have to win it tonight. And the game kicks off as Gavardio has the ball, gives it into Erling Haaland. He cuts back, he gives it to Oscar Bob and it goes in. This is typical from Oscar Bob, scoring a goal. He makes it one nil. But this time, it has to be different. This time, I have to be the one celebrating at the end of the game. And now Diego Dalla wins the ball back and I receive the ball. It's not outside because it was a tackle. I go ahead and have a shot and it goes in. I make it 1-1. I'm not going to celebrate too early. There's still a lot of game left to play. And now it's Aaron wan on the ball with a brilliant pass into me in the midfield. I see Kobe Mino making a run. It's a brilliant pass for me. He takes a touch. He puts it in and it goes in. He scores in the 90th minute. We make it 2-1. Surely, there's not enough time for Man City to score a goal. We're going to win the UCL. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take my United back to the top. And the ref blows the whistle and we've done it. We lift the UCL. We achieve that goal. And there's only one left. We're going to find out very soon. But I have finally, for the first time in my career, beat him, Oscar Bob. And it seems like he has some words to say. Hey, good shit, Edgar. I can't believe you finally beat me. Yeah, man, you're an amazing player. One of the very best. But I couldn't have done it with my boy Mainu. He's pushed me for years. I hope to continue to compete with you. And to kick off season number nine, we have two seasons left for one challenge. And that challenge is to win the treble. There's only been a handful of teams that have won the treble, like Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and I believe my United. But as long as I got Kobe Mainu on my side, I'm gonna be able to do it in these last two seasons. And no, Kobe Mainu has left 
Man United. He joined City. Why? Why would he do that? I thought we were best friends. I thought we were cool. He's taking a press conference to answer these questions. I feel so betrayed. Yeah, I joined City for many reasons. One, they're the far superior Manchester club. We may have just won the UCL, but City has been winning nothing but trophies. Plus, their manager heavily relies on Edgar, and he isn't even that good. Bob is better. I look forward to taking City to the top. I can't believe this. I can't believe he left. Can I really do it without Mainu? And as I feel depressed by the news of Kobe Mainu throughout the entire season, Man City go ahead and win the treble. And I have one season left to go ahead and win it. But without Kobe Mainu by my side, I don't know if I can do it. And to kick off season number 10, I sit in the locker room before the beginning of the season and I think about my career so far and if I could even truly get my United back to the top. Last year, I let myself get dominated by Mainu and City. I remember my goal. My goal was to take my United, this glorious club, back to the top. That goal needs to be achieved even if I have to do it alone. My name is Edgar Salinas and I will make match the United great again. But it was now time. I was motivated this season and I've taken my team to a domestic double. And I was now in the UCL final against City, against Mainu, against Oscar Bob. But they have also won a domestic double of their own, winning the Community Shield and the Carabao Cup. One of us is going to win the trouble. Mine is the correct trouble. The FA Cup and the Premier League and possibly the UCL. But this is the first time I'm facing Oscar Bob and Kobe Mainu, my ex-best friend, in a final. And I speak to Kobe Mainu as I see him on the pitch before the game. Well, Edgar, what can I say? I left because Manchester City was simply better and Bob is better than you. I'd never be a legend when the club relies on you. You know what, Mainu? You might be right. City might be better and Bob might be better. But tonight, I will win Manchester United, the treble. First attack of the game, it's Scott McTominay on the ball. He gives it to Alejandro Garnacho. He gives it into Mason Mount, into me, 1v1. I have a shot, I put it away. I make it 1-0. I'm looking to prove Kobe Mainu wrong, that he should have ne never left. The beautiful Man United. And now Scott McTominay on the ball once again. But Kobe Mainu wins it back. He gives it into Oscar Rob. He used to do that with me. And Oscar Bob makes it 1-1. It's crazy how some people just leave your life and betray you like that. That used to be what me and him would do, man. But now in the second half, it's Rodri on the ball. He gives it to Holland. Holland into Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob has a shot and it goes in. They make it 2-1. Probably the best player in the world now. Makes it 2-1. I might not win a treble on my last season. At Man United. But now it's Mason on the ball. He has a chest touch. He gives it all the way into Aaron Wambasaka. He gives it to me. I take a turn. I have a shot and it goes in. Now captain of the club. I make it 2 2. Wearing that number seven proudly for my goal, Cristiano Ronaldo. We make it 2 2. Who's gonna win this final? I'm in the 90th minute. If I don't score this, we're going to extra time. But Kobe Mainu follows me. He gets a yellow. It's going to be a penalty. And now I started my career with a penalty kick. And I might end it successfully with another one. If I score this goal, I complete the last challenge and I take in my United back to the top. I score it. Let's go. We have won the UCL final for a second time. We have won the triple. I have completed the final objective. My United are back on top. The ref blows away, so he confirms it. We win the UCL and my United are back at weight. There's one more challenge left, and that is to win Ballon d'Or. The question is. Who is going to win it? And yes, I have done it. I have won the Ballon d'Or. Not only have I taken my United to the top, but I've become a Man United legend. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this video right here.